to the Coach Tyler Show. Golazo! 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 Hi there. Welcome. Welcome uh, to another episode of the Coach Cairo Show. Let me remind you that uh, greater is he that is in us than he uh, that is in the world. I'm your host, Cairo Day McKinnon. If you're new to the show, um, just to remind you or to enlighten you, this show we talk all things soccer. Um, but the key objective here, or more importantly, we uh, we do this so that we inspire, so that we impact the lives of our young people uh, to live out uh, their purpose. I know that you're joining, you're joining this show from different parts, um, and we do try to start on time because uh, punctuality is so important. Uh, but um, it would be remiss if I don't uh, say thank you for um, subscribing to the channel, Coyote McKinnon and Co. Thank you for the questions you uh, would have asked over um, over numerous shows that we would have had. Um, thank you for sharing. That's such a big thing because it's reaching so uh, so many people who oftentimes would reach out uh, to give a word of encouragement or um, ask for some amount of advice or something. And thank you in advance. Thank you in advance for uh, coming through again and participating in this live podcast. Don't forget, you can get your podcast on Spotify, Anchor, um, you can look at this show on Facebook. Um, it's, it's, it's running live on Facebook as we speak and YouTube. So you can always go back wherever you get your, your podcast from and you will find the Coach Kayo Show. Okay, nevertheless, tonight we want to discuss a very important topic. I think it's 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 a very um it's something that is common uh, good night sonia um please do share thank you for coming through and being punctual that's important they don't want the right things um they prefer the smart things that's what we will discuss tonight we want to spend some time um bringing to you some enlightening things that I would have, I would have, I would have encountered some things um, that some of you would have experienced. Uh, hopefully we will, we will be able to, I'm sure that we will leave the show um, equipped knowing um, some things that we can uh, be, be cautious about so that we make more informed decisions for our young athletes and in some cases uh, the young adults can make uh, for themselves quick interruption just to bring you um, the km xvi march uh, before we dive into this into this topic Coyote, McKinnon, and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable, and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon, and company. We care. Hey, 
Yes, welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here. Um, they don't want right. They uh, they want what is smart. I think you will truly understand. Um, I came across a quote. Not sure who actually uh, wrote this quote, quote, but they said, uh, "The rights of every man are diminished when the rights." of one man are threatened. The rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man um, are threatened. I love this quote because it speaks it speaks to freedom. You know, it speaks to freedom, which, um, it, which emphasizes um, the right things, doing what is right, you know, Doing what is right gives us, uh, doing what is right justifies the very thing in which we're doing. So when you stand on right, when you stand on, on truth, you, you establish or you gain this freedom. When you, when you refuse that, then you, you, take, away, uh, you take away freedom. You take away one's ability to be free. So when you refuse right, when we refuse the right things, we refuse freedom. We refuse uh, the ability to grow. And more so, more so now than ever, you have to grow. Because time... Uh, Time is ticking. It's it's not it's not waiting on on none of us. So every every moment, every opportunity that you get to grow, and you excuse me, and you miss that opportunity, every chance that you get to grow and you miss that opportunity, that time is past. So we need the right things. We can't refuse the right things because if we refuse the right things, we refuse freedom. So one right and the right thing um, connect to one thing and that thing is freedom. So having the rights and doing the right um, give us freedom. And we speak about right. You know, some may ask a question, and feel free to ask your question on our Facebook KM Soccer, um, KM Soccer Academy. Um, and maybe you don't want to ask the question. You just saw uh, Sonia on, and maybe you saw somebody else on. Ask the question through them. They can also ask the question for you if you might not be brave or bold to want to ask, um, ask the question. But when we speak about right, remember we talking all things soccer, right? But I'm coming to realize every day that, you know, the thing that is affecting a lot of our young people within soccer is more of what is happening off the field more than what is happening on the field. <laughs> Nevertheless, when we speak about right, we're talking about objective facts. You say, what, well, what is right? What, what do you mean, what is right? Yeah, it's objective facts. Fortunately for us, soccer has principles, standards, and expectations that can defend what is right. That is the fortunate part. So it's, you might say, well, you might before you could say, well, oh, that's your right and that is this and that is that. No, the game of soccer, football, based on where 
uh, you listening to this show because we have people from varying parts of the of the world that listens. And some say football, some say soccer. Um, there is principles there that defends or defines what the right thing is, what is facts. And, and this is based on every on every age group, from beginners um, to professionals. There is facts there to defend. What are those facts? They have the technical, they have the tactical, they have physical, uh, they have psychological components. Um, that enable us to have uh, the quality of the games that we have. That encourage you to buy the whole sports package that have you with snacks and everything in front of your television on Saturday and Sunday. That constantly force people to bet and do all of these minor things the quality in which you, the quality in which you, what the quality what you see on a, on a, on a consistent basis is based on the understanding of what the expectations and the standards are uh, to grow the game. So that is right. Now some might argue, but if you if you look at every club, including the club that you are playing for right now, they emphasize and they and and they would have established these very uh, components within their club, but it's on paper. It's not behaviors, it's on a paper because they know and they could speak, uh, they can speak exactly to what I'm saying. The expectations are clear. So they do it, but it's on paper. Now, if you, if you would have asked them um, to, to have a sit down for so that they can show you their 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 developmental process and how uh, they want to develop the athletes you will see all of these things you will see the expectations and the standards based on age group based on levels Because that is the right thing. But a lot of times, it stays on that paper. When we come back we'll, from this short interruption to bring you our learning corner. We'll go a bit deeper for you to understand why um, people will neglect or why everyone is neglecting the right thing and go in um, what is right and go into what is smart. We'll be right back. It's under pressure, but there's still a window that the five can use um, to utilize space um, on the right side for the seven. So the while the three is on the outside, he's still... Um, keeping the seven in front of him, which allows the five and the four to come in line and get compact and the one to push up to stay connected. In this way, when you force the ball to the two, now we can change our behavior and close space. This allows us to have transition moments um, that we can utilize 
because of their positioning. Obviously, the four may want to come in here. The three might come. The, the 11 might come. But they're all forward of the ball. So if we stay this compact, there is transition opposition. Um, there's transition moments uh, for us. Welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. Kyle Day here, if you're now joining us. Um, we're talking about uh, they don't want what is right. They want what is smart. And before the break, we were, we were, we were talking about um, they, they have all of these things established, established within uh, the club model the expectations and standards that truly uh, represent what is right, objective facts. Because these things have measurables. You can, um, you can measure them uh, through uh, your, training, your training methodology. Uh, you are able to draw data to see uh, what level the players are at so that makes that makes things right within uh, within the soccer environment feel free to share your comments ask questions um, seek clarity because good night Simone Batson good to see you here please do share because people are searching for answers especially in especially in soccer, excuse me, especially in soccer, people are constantly searching for answers. They're searching for clarity. Um, unfortunately, uh, it, the culture is kind of, you know, it's kind of tight-lipped because of, of what we'll, we'll discuss uh, a little bit more deeper in the show. And I promise you, this show won't be, this show won't be long because I want to get to what I need to get to before I lose you. So I've been told many times, um, no one cares about the right thing. And the reason why they don't care about the right within soccer, um, because they don't know what is right. They don't know what is right, so they don't care about what is right. So the best thing to do is just to be smart. Because the right thing is very complicated. You're talking about ages and stages. You're talking about uh, the process of growing and the blocks in which you have to grow. Um, the teaching methodology, the, the coaching methodology, the, the, the learning process learning to train, learning from teaching, and, and you go on and on and on, um, understanding fundamentals, going into learning roles and tasks, understanding uh, positional um, expectations, winning, all these processes you're going through. It's a very complicated thing. You're talking about cognitive demands, physical demands. Um, it's a lot. It's a long process. It becomes very complicated. So nobody wants the right thing. So how they justify their existence is through the smart thing, doing the smart thing. You know, you hear the word smart and it's like, what is wrong with smart? Well, oftentimes the word smart is associated uh, to intellectual insight, people who are brilliant. But in soccer, that's not the smart I'm talking about. The smart that they're talking about when they neglect the right is the smart that devise a plan to deceive the heart. That's the smart I'm talking about. Because if you're not gonna, if you're not going to do the right things. If you're not going to do the things that you establish within your program that you firmly believe that all of us know is the right thing when it relates to the development, not just 
from a soccer perspective, but that's why there's a psychological aspect within soccer. Because it does something to the heart. It does something to the mind. It does something to the decisions that these young people will make as they move on in age. As they continue to grow. You know, we spend a lot of time talking about the technical part and the physical part. We don't even talk about the tactical part because that starts going down the line of doing what is right. So we stay away from that. But more importantly, we talk about the psychological aspect as just let's do it as, as part, of our, uh, part of our thing. So we, we, we make sure that we put that in there. But if we're not doing the right thing, what is the purpose of having seminars about psychological, uh, the psychological challenges and the trauma and, and intimidation and all of these things that we're talking about, but we're not doing the right thing. The thing that the kids came there to do, we that is not priority. They came to play soccer. And all these things are tools to help them to maximize their potential. We neglect it because we have to be smart more than doing what is right. So smart in soccer here, um, like they said, you know, don't waste your time trying to do the right things because it's complicated. And because people don't know what is the right thing, because they're not knowledgeable about the game, they have no real insight in what it takes to develop uh, the athlete in into what the athlete wants to achieve, uh, you you are now forced to to be smart. Like I say, if you're not doing the right things, or if you're not doing what is right to develop the skill of the player, you're doing you're devising a plan to deceive the heart. And one thing about the one thing about deceit. It has the power to change the heart. Why the heart is so important? Okay. Because we make our decisions with our heart. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So your actions and your behavior is coming from your heart, not your mind. Is what is in your heart. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The heart of the author always follow his or her message. The heart drives your behavior. Soccer is about is a game about behaviors. In your coaching methodology, you talk about guided discovery. You're talking about behaviors. You're not talking about instructions. You're talking about behaviors. You're talking about what they can do to discover on their own so it becomes unconscious competence on the field. So what are they discovering if you are devising a plan that is deceiving the heart of what they want to accomplish in the game of soccer. You see, it's real. Because the heart is a dangerous place. You're affecting the decision making. In soccer, <laughs> the link between perception and long-term working memory is decision-making. So what perception are you encoding if you're being smart and not doing what is right? So knowledge is not given 
to the athletes and the lack of knowledge man perish for the lack of knowledge man perish if i'm devising a plan that will deceive the heart i'm neglecting the right if i'm neglecting the right then i'm neglecting to give knowledge and if i'm neglecting excuse me if i'm neglecting knowledge i'm also neglecting the right thing and building a deceitful heart which oftentimes i will struggle kids are crying kids are kids want to quit kids kids want to give up parents scared blaming everybody else it's their fault putting too much pressure i pay my money they should be playing all this while hearts are being deceived because once you neglect the right things when it comes to young people this is why i address young people all the time because they are the ones <laughs> who suffer in the most because they are put in the place where they need to be trained chanak they they are waiting they are waiting for something to take them to the next level and they believe in this because they don't know what is right and what is true so we deceive in the heart and by repetition and perception um that will that can actually lead them to be elite players it's taking that away because it's not true the right thing is true the smart thing so like everything repetition and perception becomes very dangerous when it's misused we are neglecting what is right because nobody wants what is right because they are uncomfortable with what is right because they don't know what is right so the idea now or the culture is to be smart it's to come up with smart ideas not necessarily the intellectual smart that benefit that give benefits but the smart that devises a plan and schemes that deceit that create deceit that can deceit can deceive sorry the heart which create a heart that is lack of knowledge and become very dangerous now it's easy to do this it's very easy to do this with a people that are blind and don't truly understand the magnitude of what is happening to the athletes to the young people how they're exposed with this very approach this approach is ripping their hearts out the 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 ability to have any compassion they are unconscious it's dangerous anything anything that is deceitful can become very very dangerous this is happening right on the our nose because people lack commitment to what they're doing they don't want to be committed they don't want to be committed to the process because the real process is massively expensive in in the united states and 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 any part of the world brazil wherever when you want to grow when you want to develop 
Just like when you go to school, when you go to college, you spend four years in there, you spend thousands and thousands of dollars, especially if you go into to one of these Ivy League schools or, or one of these big private schools, you will spend because you want your child to be equipped. So anything that, when, when you speak about development in school, they, they, in, some, in some cases, they're preparing them for life. They equipped it. They they they're making sure that they equip these young people with skills for life. Because what whenever you teach somebody something, they begin to encode it, good or bad. As long as the, this is why repetition is so dangerous. Because whatever you continue to listen to, whatever you embrace, you encode, and you don't make ninety to seventy percent of the time. You not you are not making decisions from your consciousness. What you what you sitting down and processing. You you're making decisions from what you've already downloaded. It's like you go back in and you pick something and you go do it. You go do it right away. Because it's there. We don't have the same energy for for uh, uh, for a sport like soccer. It's just go play, go you know, enjoy yourself. So the lack of commitment to the process, uh, because of the massive massive expense that comes with the process of development. Um, most people don't see it as a real career. I know. You know, playing back, playing back in Guyana, uh, and coming through the youth system, and people say you waste, you wasting your time. Why go pick up your books? It don't make no sense. They don't care about if it's your gift. They don't. It, they don't care if uh, this thing um, God give it to you, so He will, so He can make room for you, bring you to a place where you can inspire, so that you can encourage, so that you can transform the lives of those who might don't know where they're going. And you can be an example that you don't need to go a certain route because you don't have, but you can take a route where, you know, God have already predestined for you and go and win and be an example to others. No, they shut it down. You're being illiterate. You, you're wasting time. You don't, you're not going to make it. There's, nobody never made it. And they, all of these things, they just spew out. Try to play God. because of their own experiences, because of where they are. And there's, there's empathy there. Nevertheless, it don't change the fact what it can do and how destructive it can be to one's life. So that lack of commitment to the process, I've allowed this to just creep into a game that that changed my life, that changed so many people's life, that afford them the opportunity to always come back, to always come back, to always make an informed decision, to always change, to always grow. This game, this game, I've done it for me. Keep your focus. Hard work and dedication, sacrifice. Stand alone if you have to. It's the power. You're allowing others to destroy it. So now, without that, we're literally begging. Those, have, those that have the responsibility to bring the right, we're literally begging. Um, for the smarter approach, the deceitful approach. We're begging them for the deceitful approach. Because like I said, to be to do the smart thing is to deceive the heart. And you can only create followers based on how you lead. 
Let's go back. There is a right approach. Objective facts within soccer. Fortunately, it cannot be argued. It is clear. It's technical, it's tactical, it's, it's physical, it's psychological. They are clear. They are clear guidelines there. They, they are principles and then they are characteristics that governs how you supposed to develop a player on a day-to-day. And most have measurables to decide, and they have benchmarks to decide if the process is working for this athlete or not. So why do we choose to be smart? Why? Because the right to do the right thing is to lose because it becomes very complicated. Or it's complicated. For those who don't have no knowledge of what it is. It's crazy. You can only create followers based on how you lead. So if you're leading with smart, then that's what you're creating. Because that's what they're following. So if, it, so if your athlete start, begins to behave in a certain manner, have to look deeper now you have to look look you have to look past the superficial side of things now cuz it's deeper something is brewing within the heart that you can't control once it gets to the place where it took it over then you have no saying that's why he said, train up the child, Chanak. Train up, dedicate back the way they should go, that when they're old, they will not depart from it. If you want smart, then you can't plant orange and expect banana. It will be what it will be. You must want to choose the uncomfortable thing that is right. The uncomfortable thing allow us to grow. Please give me an opportunity to tell you about pro insulation because if I need anything to get done correctly, I'm not going to try to be smart and try to, to go do something just to, uh, to cop out from what I need to do because I need it to get done correctly. I would definitely call Pro Insulation to handle my business when it comes uh, to what I need at home. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate for all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today. I come back to the Coach Kyo show. Kyo Day here. Um, please let me know that you are here. Share your comments. Share, ask a question um, if you wish. Um, let me know if this is something that you're experiencing with your athlete. And if you're an athlete, if you feel in this way, like you are stuck, you feel like you are not growing. Um, you know, feel free, feel free to share your experience or experiences so that, you know, we can, um, we can help someone else. We can, we can know that 
this is something that is happening and needs to be addressed so that the very the very business of soccer within youth soccer is to help our young people to grow in all aspects of their life. Because once again, they speak about holistic growth. Because then everyone knows what is the right thing. They know the dangers of what they're doing. There's an emotional side to this game that people lose their lives. Excuse me. So I don't know why we will, I don't know why we would, we won't take it serious. Like it's nothing. I don't know why we play games with it, but that's what, that, that is what happens when, um, when the heart has become deceitful. We no longer can uh, determine what is, what is right, um, what is wrong. Because everybody's right in their own eyes. So, so I'm not going to just leave you with, with all the, uh, the negative, uh, the negative um, things that are occurring through this this smart approach, as they say. But my hope is uh, that I can add value and help you to move forward and make informed decisions. And it relates to yourself as a, a young adult and or as a parent who has that responsibility to make sure that you're not just uh, putting, your, putting your child in a soccer program for recreation, but understand that the moment you put your child in the, in the hands of a leader, the, the encoding begins. The encoding begins. Whoever that is, you know, it's your choice. It's your choice. Maybe it's fun for you, but you don't know what it's doing to this child until you see it. And then you see it, can you handle it? Do you know what to do? It's sad, but true. Doing the right things doing what is right um, easily separates and creates a uniqueness uh, that provides high standard and less common trends. It's very important to do what is right. You allow uh, this uniqueness to happen. You allow this person who is unique to uh, to reach high standards, to truly maximize who they are. And they become less common people. They, they don't follow the common trends. You know, being around young people, you see this insecurity with them and they, they pass it off with joking and clanging and and look like they're having a good time. No, it's insecurities because if you want to be great, they, you understand there's a time for everything. There's a time for laughing. There's a time for messing around. There's a time for understanding why you are there for the time that you, for the duration, for what you're doing. They don't know how to separate those things. So because they're insecure, and because they are scared to be serious, because they they know if they fail, the emotional uh, the emotional thing that comes with failing, they don't want to experience. So they pass it off like, oh, I'm just joking and having a good time. Always see it. If you if you good at what you do, you know that that is a high level of insecurity and low self esteem that don't want to demand a high standard from themselves. When you do the right things, you neglect those things. You go after, you're obsessed, you're committed, you're dedicated. You believe that you're supposed to be great. So you walk like greatness, you talk like greatness, you behave like greatness, you dress like greatness, you train like greatness.
You eat like greatness. You sleep like greatness. You only be around greatness. People can deceive you easily. Doing the right things will give you free will. Free will. This is something that I am embracing so much and and diving deeper and deeper to understand, to, to gain a better understanding of how people, the closest people, your mother, your father, everybody, they can take your will. They have the ability to take your will. When you have a will, you make effective decisions that can impact positively on the result of a game or your performances. Free will. Fears and doubts do not, will not ever overcome free will. Freedom. Think about a child and the, the curiosities that they have and how free they are. They, they have no fears. They have no doubts. They, they do things and you have to go protect them because they're not afraid. They're not afraid to take risks. They're not afraid. They're not even ready to go down, go down the stairs, but they, they're, making their, they're making their way there. They're curious. Even though that might be right there, they're still curious. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing the curiosity and the will that we were, that we were born with. K kids weren't born scared. They weren't born scared. They come into this world and they start experiencing things, and now they're fearful. They have doubts. They have all you, you. No one was born with doubts and fears. It was taught by who? Those that experience the very fears and doubts. There's a time and there's a place for guidance and there's a, there's a place for counseling and all these things. But we've established this thing that called fear, this thing that called doubts. And now you have young people walking around with no understanding of who they are, what they're capable of. Because whatever has happened to you, you have taken away their free will. Even God gave us free will, knowing that we can even choose against him like so many of us often time would do. <laughs> Yet he understands the purpose of having that. It removes fear. It removes doubts. And it establishes what you should reverence. When we do the right things, we establish this free will. And we're better equipped to make decisions that can impact our lives, impact our game, impact how we perform. Your work is done. Your job was to train up the child. The first day you had the child, you, you needed to start the process of training them up. When they get to a certain age, you, you can't do nothing anymore. You can only guide. You can only inspire. You can only try to impact. You are a facilitator. They will make their decisions in front of you or behind you. You have no power. The power you're fighting for <laughs> you are losing that battle because people were born to have free will that is why you have to train up and and know that they will not depart from the training the question is is what type of training what type of training is the training empowering for them to live out their purpose or is the training teaching them to fear, to have deceit, to, to, to be powerless, to be insecure, to have low self-esteem? To judge based on everything else except character and consistency. 
what are we training up? Do the right things. Do the right things. It comes with pain. It comes with pressure. Understand that, young people. If you will do, if you encourage or you demand, better word, if you demand the right, if you encourage people to do what is right by you, understand it will come with pain and pressure. No one person said, oh, there's too much pressure on my son. My son, too much pressure on your son who's 16, 17 years old. Too much pressure on your son to have to, to, to who wants to be at the next level. Too much pressure. Who wants to reach the expectation and standards of, of, of top level players? Too much pressure? What is too much pressure? Well, the right thing comes with pressure and pain. Now, when you're trying to stop somebody from bleeding out and dying, you put pressure. You put pressure. We've turned pressure into a thing that now is intimidation and all these fancy words. And they got a place for that. That's not the discussion here or there. We're talking about what, what comes with the right and what comes with the right. People can always take the, the right things and turn it into something that is evil and wicked. But when you talk about pressure, you talk about doing the right. When you're doing the right things, it comes with pressure. Sorry. When you talk about doing what is right, it comes with pressure. It comes with pain. To stop bleeding, you need pressure. You want to build muscles. Pressure is pain. You need muscle strength. What is muscle strength? How much force you can exert from resistance. I want to be strong. I want to be stronger. But you don't want no pain. Because everybody says you need to be comfortable. You need to have fun. You need to this. They, they, they don't define what fun is. They don't say fun is about clarity. It's about having the clarification of what you're doing. And you know you're encouraged because those receptors want more and more and more and more from it. That's what fun is. Talk about that moons ago. We're winding down. Got two more for you guys. comes with pressure you want you want muscle you want strength it must come from resistance how much force you can exert from resistance that's what muscle strength is so pressure you do the right things you will feel the resistance you will feel the pain you will have to go through the fire oh you want to play 90 minutes that is pressure Muscle endurance, how much force you can exert over longer durations. So you can't, you're not going to run away from pressure. <laughs> you can't want something great, but run away from the right things, which comes with pressure, which comes with pain. Psychological pressure. You want to be great. You have to overcome the war of the mind. I want to do this, but then, then out of nowhere, doubt is shouting so loud. Doubt is screaming so loud. Fear is screaming so loud in, loud in your head, and you just go back to the safe side. Comfort. Because you already know that comfort dismiss. Comfort never take the risk. So demand the right and understand it comes with pressure. It comes with pain. Success is a business. What are you willing to invest? Finally, 
doing the right things fulfill purpose. Doing the right things fulfill purpose. Doing what is right will fulfill purpose. That's for every one of us. That's for all of us. Players, parents, coaches, everybody. Because purpose give identity. Identity fuels life. That means you know who you are. You know why you're here. You know why you're here. You know who you are. And you know what you need to be doing. Demand the truth. Don't want people to be smart. I want people to be right. Let them do what is right. It's not your career that depends on it. That's just a game. Soccer is just a game. Your life, your emotions, your decision making. Your stability, all these things is the business. Excuse me. It's the real business. The game will the game will remain. It's just a game. It's just a game. But the real business is your life. And when you're deceived, you get locked into the game and not knowing the destruction it's bringing to your life. A roaring lion seeking who he may devour any way possible. I hope this show um, was enlightening. I hope that you were able to take something out of this, that you you were able to you were able to understand why you feel the way you feel, why you're going through what you're going through, why you struggle with all these fears. Where are you? Where are you now? What are you doing? Do you truly understand what is happening to you? Hopefully, this would have shed some light and bring you into a place where you begin your journey to maximizing your very uniqueness. I want to thank you again for being on this show, for being a part of this Coach Kyle experience, um, being a part of our podcast. Please continue to share, uh, continue to support us as as, as God above would direct you uh, for us to continue to reach uh, more young people, not just here, but across the world, um, everywhere possible that we can add value, that we can be a service, uh, service to, to make sure that they are also fulfilling purpose and giving light to others who might be struggling. Have a good night, and thank you for being with us again on the Coach Kyra Show. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun, so why not name it Rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.